uploaded my pictures to Canva. It's very easy. You just hit this upload media, um, go to your zip file, open your zip file, and or if it's not a zip file, if it's a um, PNG or a JPEG file, just upload them. Um, Canva doesn't take PDF, I don't think so, but it takes um, PNG and JPEG. So you upload these pictures, which I've got um, four times three, 12, because I wanted to make a calendar, right? So once I've uploaded the pictures, I just drop the picture in this wall calendar template that I found that I like. It's kind of muted, it has a minimalist look, it reminds one to have a slower pace of life, slow living. And then the artist, this is where the artistic creative part kicks in for you, um, depending on where you are in the spectrum. If you are um, don't want to mess with a lot of um, nitty gritty details, you can just drop the picture and go to print, print wall calendar right right here. But if you are one that you know are into color palettes, really want to go into details, you can play around and change the color. How do we do it? Let's just pick say November. So we have November here. So I'm going to go to this picture in November. I'm just going to click on this file. You see how then you have the outline, the blue outline shows that when you, once you click on this file, you want to click on this color background here. And after that, you'll be shown this little circle icon here. And this small image is the icon size for this large, larger image here. And one of the wonderful things I love about Canva is that it gives you all the hex code, which is a, basically a bunch of six letters with letters and numbers that tell you exactly what um, the color is, what the color scheme is from this original artwork. As you can see, when, when I click this, uh, these colors, immediately things start changing. October is not the month that I want to go into such a somber look, right? So I'm more for this look. What do you think, guys? I think that looks pretty great. But I, I'm not I'm not keen on this gray thing. So let me just kind of see if I could change it up. Ooh, that's too bright. Uh, maybe this one. Ah, nice, right? Nice. So I'm actually not inventing the wheel and uh, reinventing the wheel. I'm basically um, just picking the color scheme that I like using Canva as who is, does it all that whatever is it AI, whatever that is that does the thing makes it real simple for me. And look, I have such a beautiful November, I'm not so sure it kind of like pops up too, too bright, isn't it? Um, not sure. Now, when you look at it like this, this one kind of pop up too much, but Maybe in the frame of things, when I look at it, let's say on a screen or when I print out, it actually doesn't look too bad. It, I kind of like the idea that, you know, Sunday just kind of pops like, yay, Sunday, reminder, self-care, you know, time to take a break and um, go out and look at the trees. I like that, that the date, date just pops out for Sundays. So. You can spend as little time or as much time as you want in terms of changing the color palette, but that's it, start to finish. So let me just go back one more time and just show you what I just did. In Canva, I uploaded the 12 images I wanted to use for my wall calendar. Um, there's templates here that you can choose as to what kind of calendar you, you want to use. For me, I chose this brown minimalist landscape wall calendar 2022. You apply all 13 pages and it just populate that particular um, um, new design that you have. And then out of that, you just put your, your artwork in. Uh, I wanted to create an easy digital product, uh, or if you are just not even in the space of creating products, if you just want to have a fun, creative artist day for yourself, went into Canva, go to the template site, 
since I know what I wanted to create is a wall calendar, I just type in a wall calendar template and I found this design that I kind of like. It's, it's easy to execute. As you can see from the pictures here, all I have to do is just to drop a picture. And I like that it's 13 pages, not 26 pages, which is kind of overwhelming, you know, how some templates are. 13, simple, that's the cover plus 12 months, very easy. All I have to do is just drop the pictures. Fair enough, simple. I can do something like this and it would take me an afternoon or a whole week, depending on you know how long you want to stretch out, uh, out to state or how much time you have to upload a digital product. So for me, I chose this um, landscape wall calendar and I've got my uploaded pictures that I did. Let me show you my uploaded pictures. I uploaded 12 of them because that 12 months in the calendar. And, and so these 12 images that I've uploaded, uploaded here, so you just upload it from your zip file. So I have 12 images for my wall calendar. I just have to upload it from my zip file. See this, um, uh, these words here that says upload media, just go ahead and click it and images upload, um, just like that. Like this, just kind of like upload the image, okay? I'm making an assumption here that people know, most people know how to upload images onto your desktop. And if you don't, drop a comment down below. And if that's enough interest, I might do a bit showing that um, as part of your creative journey. So I uploaded 12 images that I like that kind of expresses my mood, my sentiment right now. I see the 2022 as a year that gentleness is practiced further. Uh, deeper in my life. And uh, so I kind of like the muted tones. Um, it holds promise, it holds a uh, gentle spirit, and it holds much peace and gives me much simple joy when I look at it. So I've dropped the images and I put the images here that look something like this. If I could just show you to you um, a work in progress. So as you can see, I've dropped some of the images. These are the originals that I still need to drop images into. So I, 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 so let's see, how do I do this? Very simple, this is May. So I'm just gonna show you May, January, February, March, April, May. So I'm just gonna take this image here, grab it, delete that one and hold and just, this is how I'm gonna drop my, use my image. Then, and what I'm doing, if you see things being moving around is because I'm using my mouse to adjust the image size. There you go, here's another tutorial to show how you can um, inspire yourself and increase your creativity by tackling on something really simple. Uh, at the same time, uh, have fun and also learn a couple of new digital skills. In this vid, you are shown how to use the Canva Pro account where there's sort of extra features uh, that's beyond the free account that you could use to uh, create a 12 month calendar that you could just go ahead and print right here or um, sell as a digital product, which I'm doing um, on my Etsy and web store. Uh, stick around, subscribe, follow for new updates, for other ideas. Um, I'm really right now um, in a kick for sharing uh, how to use a couple of Canva skills. So I have affiliate link there that you could use to give uh, Canva Pro a try. Guess what? I just have an idea. I used to do this when my kids were little. I, you could just upload if you don't have paintings that you want to get. Why don't you just upload paintings of your kids' pictures? and use different frames and add um, different photos, you know, uh, what do I mean by that? So you could have like a frame, like a template, like here, frame, um, let's see, you could do this, do photos, frames. You could just do like that, like this, and then, you know, and then add photos of family. Let me just type in family. Isn't that cool? And then write your calendar and, and all that good stuff here. Very cool, huh? Thanks for subscribing and continuing on. And I hope you find new inspiration each time you click on my channel. 
and watch a couple of episodes. Spread kindness around like confetti. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.